So we've come to for loops and I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, if we look at this first for loop up here, um, we could see that we have 4i in range 10 uh, print i. And if I go ahead and run this, you can see if I move the screen over um, that what is printed out is 0 through 9. And so I wanted to go over exactly why that happens. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, so what happens exactly is when it says for i in range 10, we create a temporary, well, the program creates a temporary variable and sets it equal to 0. And then it checks the value of i that it, it is less than this number in the parentheses. So 0 is less than 10, that is true. So since it's true, it goes into the for a loop and it does whatever code you put in it. In this case we print out 0, we print out i. And then when the for loop is finished it moves on up and it adds 1 to i so i turns from 0 it's now equal to 1 and it checks to see if it, i is still less than 10. Since it is it goes into the the body and prints out the 1 and then the 2 and then the 3 and so things don't start to get interesting until it gets to 9. Right? So when it finishes printing out the 9, it comes back up, it adds 1 to the i, so i is now 10. It compares between the number in the parentheses, and 10 is not less than 10. So it does not print. It comes down to line 3 and continues on down uh, executing the instructions in the program. So that's exactly what is happening in the, in the for loop, and uh, that, that becomes um, more relevant when we get to the racing turtle lab so you really need to understand that that is happening um, because we could be doing something like this we could say num equals zero out here and then inside we could maybe we could do num equals num plus i right. so then what is this doing if we go ahead and print num you can see that the first iteration of the for loop, it's going to add 0 plus 0, which is 0. Then the second iteration, it's going to add 0 plus 1, which is 1. So num is equal to 1 now. And then the third iteration, it's going to do 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. And num is now equal to 3. It's going to come back in. It's going to do num, which is 3 now, plus 4, which is 7 and it adds, puts the 7 inside the variable num and so on and so forth and so what's actually happening is uh, this equation here is adding the numbers from 0 to 10 um, and then it's going to print that out to the screen and we can see that that's exactly what happens when we um, when we print out 45 there uh, so that is the for loop and that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it